Welcome back to my series of MindView videos. Now I've been doing some short videos on MindView and if you look at the rest of them in my playlist you see I'm trying to cover them in less than 15 minutes just to get you up and running. Now I've done a few, I've done a research, a presentation, one an idea map and even a timeline. It's going to be a bit more difficult to unbreak it down with a gang chart but let me see if I can show you anyway. Now it's up to you how you want to start a project management. Now project management if you're not sure about what that is it enables you to schedule, organize projects. So let me give you an example at the top here. We've got a Gantt chart, which is your project management. Now I could start in Gantt chart mode and add the data in. But I'm going to show you another way, but you can still use the Gantt chart mode, but I want to get you up and running quickly. So select mind map on the left, and you're going to build a project management and a Gantt chart from your mind mapping. So double tap that. Let's say you've got to do an essay on world affairs. So I'm just going to pop that in tap off it so there's your main idea now if you double tap the corner by left clicking you create your first branch so this will be your first project or what you want to work on so I'm going to put in there let's just say you're not quite got the topic title yet because you want to break down world affairs it's quite a big title tap off that now we're going to break down topic title let's say you've got to spend some time and working out a title you want to use and you might throw a few down to give yourself some ideas world affairs let's put Let's put politics and create another one of topic title and I'm going to throw in humanities an example. Double tap again. Let's also put in maybe military, shall we? Just as an example and tap off that. Now, if you get a spell in there, do a right click and select correction. And you can select it there. So there we go. So a topic title, you might do it in politics, humanity or military. Then you come back down and create another little branch of world affairs. And then you decide next in line is my researching. So you pop researching in there. Now create a little branch of researching. And you might go, right, I'm going to hit the web first. And then I might use my internal library. So, it, so I just put internal library. Depending on using Moodle, Blackboard or Portal. And tap off that. And let's do one more. Let's say you're going to the library and actually going to use books as well. So there we go. So we haven't got a project management yet. But what we have got is just a quick timeline of a few ideas you've got down. But we can turn that quickly into a gank chart. Once you've done your map, come up to task timeline and make sure you've selected project management. And this is what we can use for gank charts. It's dependent underneath there from 1984 to 2049. And now we can start adding data. Now if I actually click on to the world affairs, you can see I can't add anything. If I click on topic title, can't add anything. Because the actual task you're doing here, whatever dates we put in or time, then the other two will be dependent on. Because they have to be finished or part of it for them to exist. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to click on politics. And I'm going to spend on politics. Now this does, if I click the calendar... This does Monday to Friday, but you can change the settings I'll show you later so you can include seven days a week if you want to research. So bear that in mind. So I'm going to spend one, two, let's just two days working on politics. And if you're going to use that as a title, tap off it. So I come down to politics here. You still can't see anything. And this is what I want you to do because you need to be able to see the schedules and the tasks for you to add the next one. So come up the top and select view. Come along and select show and height. If you can't see that, select a simple interface. So I'm going to select it and it shows you all the options that you can see visually. So I want to see start and end date. And I want to see duration. That would do for now. I haven't added cost or actual cost or anything else or priority. Click OK. That would then show it in your actual chart as we work. So the first one's from the first to the fifth. So I'm going to spend on the next one here. So if I click on here, come to the right. I want to carry on from the fifth. So I'll select the fifth and I want to spend another two days. That's my second one. And on military, if I want to use that as a title again, I can carry on from the seventh. And again, I'm just going to spend a couple of days on that. And tap off it. So now you can see how I've built up my first topic title. So I'm going to spend just about a week trying to work out which title I want to use first. And I might look at that actually. I might click on humanity come to the top select format and I might even change the color of that as green just to help me to remember which one I might want to use and there you go there's my first part of my project management
but it's not actually a Gantt chart yet, is it? So bear with me. Go to researching and select web. Again, come up the top. If you want to do weeks, you're more than welcome. Hours, minutes, you've got the option there, but I'm sticking with days. So go to the last one, which was the 10th. So I want to start after the 10th. So click on the calendar. And I want to start Tuesday the 11th. And I'm going to spend five days researching on the web. So we've got internal library. So that will be from the 18th on night. I'll do the 18th. And again, you're going to spend five days on that. And last of all, in the library. So carry on from the 24th. So I'll do the 25th. And you're going to spend you're going to spend three days. And it's done. So there we go. All we've done at the moment is added a time to your task. But I'm going to click back on politics and come back to the right. Now underneath here we've got some options. So we've got task information. So you might select naught for no priority at all or thousand for top priority. You don't have to use that thousand actually. If I actually click on it and delete it, you might just use one as not very important. Tap off it. And then 10 for very important. It's up to you how you want to use that task information. In those few days you are researching on politics, you might say, actually, I don't need to be 100% finished on research, and that just 60 or 70 to give me an idea. You can add 70% completion. Now, resources comes more into its own when you need to add someone to do a task for you, and you need to pay them and the cost. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on a calendar. As this is just your own personal map for studying, but if you're doing resources, for example, you might have a, an accountant. I've got to add an accountant to my task needs to be done you can add the email in there and units and cost so if I actually so if I come down the bottom here select project resources and drag that out then you can add the required information what you're going to pay them an hour type of work drop down menu if it's material then obviously it won't be an accountant but as it's work how many hours you want them to do in that time and the total cost from obviously the rate and click OK. So I'll leave that in there anyway as an example and click OK. Now if I come down a bit further here, you've got project information, if I select that. That tells me the whole date of my project so far. Project start date and end date. And you can change that by clicking into it. You might want to start earlier or later and that will change the scheduling for you. Click OK. Project calendars. Again, I said to you earlier about working Monday to Friday, but you can change that. You might want days per month and be a bit of a slave driver. I want them to work every day. We'll select project calendars. You can see how it's currently set up here. Now the greyed out one indicates not working. So you can tap on them and add the working hours in there if you prefer. And click OK. And click OK. And the last option is project resources, which I showed you earlier. But as this is more an academic gank chart. Let's stick to what we've got so far. SA to do on world affairs. You need to work out what topic type you're going to use. So you're going to spend some time on politics. You like the look of humanity, so you've made that green, and you've got military. And then you're going to do your research. Now you can change these dates around because obviously you might need to research before you actually choose your topic title or vice versa. But we've got an option I'll show you in a gank chart where you can make one that has to be dependent on another one to be finished, which I show you as well. We've got web, internal library, and last of all books. So what I'm going to do is come up to the top here, select View and select Gantt. Before we go to a Gantt chart, select Outline. Just to have a look at it in linear format so you can see how it works to give you a rough idea. And you see to the right here with Work and Cost as well, and resources you might use, and Completion and Priority. But I'm going to go back to View because what we actually want is a Gantt chart. Select it. Now we're in Gantt chart mode. You see on the left we have the text and the information data and on the right you have the actual map. If I hold the left button and drag that along a bit more so we can see everything. There we go and I drag that back a bit. So now we're in gank chart mode and on the right you can see the actual dates above. Now if I zoom in you see these little black options lines here. This is for completion so if I go to politics and come along, I wanted that 70% finished by that date. It's added it there, 70%. Now what I could do is hold the left button and drag that along to say it's finished as I'm going along. You see when I drag it, at the top with World Affairs and Topic Title move with it, because they are dependent on the actual task you're doing. To make life easier, come to the top, we have these options here. So I'm going to select Politics and zero that 
to say nothing has been completed yet. I could do 25% complete and so on 50, 75 and 100. So you can do it quickly that way as well. Underneath is linking. Now remember what I said to you earlier about linking one task needs to be dependent on another task to be finished. So if I come down, you can link it with Control plus F2. What I like to do is click into it, hold the left button, and if you keep your finger on the left button and drag it, you can drag it onto your next task. See when I click on it, it moves it along, it pushes it over the weekend, or it'll push it to the next day. So it's dependent on this task finishing before this task can. Otherwise you're overlapping and then your tasks end up in a mess. So if I click on this task, and I could put as 100% finished, and then I can move on to the next task. Also up here, you can unlink that task. You can make a task inactive. You might go to, you know what, I'm gonna bother with the web for a while. So I'll click on the web and select inactive, and you can see it goes transparent there. Click it again to bring it back. The next option is go to selected task. So if I click it, it will open up that task I was looking at highlight, for example, web. Also, last but not least, go to today's date, click on that, and it takes you to today's date. In this case, it's Saturday. So you can jump exactly where you are on your task. So we could add information in here. For example, priorities, I could double tap priorities. I could go into humanity, double tap, and go, do you know what? I don't want those 0 to 1,000. I want it in numbers 1 to 10. So back priority could be 9. And again, just tap into it, delete it. I tend to use 1 to 10, but the choice is yours. And then you can add in here how many hours you want to spend working as well on that. But remember, we put the time schedule for days anyway. So it depends on what gang chart you're doing. And cost doesn't really matter in this case. Unless you're paying library bills, of course. There's a lot going on up here, isn't there? If you do a right click, you can then choose what you don't want to see. Because you might look at that and go, do you know, I'm not really interested in cost. Right click. Work, not too bothered about. So you can break down the information you're looking at to make it easy to work with. Now, if I click on World Affairs, come to the top, you've got Task Information option. And that'll give you an overview of that option. For example, automatically scheduled, constraint type, you put as soon as possible, or start no earlier than. And you can then put your constraint date in there. You might have a deadline, you can select and task type, fixed duration or fixed work. Again, that depends on what, obviously, on what your project management is and click OK. Numbering can be useful. Select a numbering scheme, numeral there, and it numbers them here to the left so you can see them clearly as well if you need that. You can make the text bigger if you want, which I want to do now actually. I'm going to make that medium, makes that a bit better. As I'm doing a quick video tutorial on this, I'm going to move on quickly and select design. So if you don't like the look of your map, you can choose a default one here and find something you find a lot easier to visually see and understand. If you actually hover over them, it changes as well. I think I'll leave it at that, actually, that was quite good. Again, you can change fill colours. So you can see I've made the task a different colour. Actually, I'm going to make that more of a darker green. Perfect. And you can add outlines to that as well. So I've added red outlines. And you can even add a fill pattern if you want, which I'm not going to do that for now. Tap off that. You can actually change the fill colours of the major tasks. So if I make them purple, you see I've changed them as well. And again, you can change the outline of them as well if you want. So I'll make them an orangey colour. Now, I'm going to add a task name. If you click task name, it's quite handy because it brings them up so you can see them clearly in your gank chart better rather than just having to look on the left. So what I want to do, go to view and select map and select my map and it brings you back. So you don't have to necessarily work back so you could carry on adding information here by clicking on it and double tapping the corners. But I want to go back to where we were again, gank chart. If you want to add them here, you can also do that. So you might want to add another one. So you see I've added one there within the mind map. So I want to click on that. Do a right click, and I want to delete it. Now, if you want to add one, easiest method I find to do a right click and select insert, and you can insert a new branch or a sub branch. I want to do a new one. You can also add it at the top here by selecting task. So I'm going to call this draft. Let's say you can do a draft. Now, don't get confused with this 2.1, 2.2. That's because I had a numbering scheme doing it in order. Now, if you don't want the numbering scheme again, come up the top. And turn it off. So we've got draft. So how long am I going to do the draft for? We've got the 25th of December to the 27th of December. So I'm going to 
Bend open at the 28th. And let's take that into the new year, shall we? So January the 17th. Now I want to show you this. Now where I've done that, what's happened? It won't change. And the reason it won't change, have a look at the chart on the right, it's moved it along. It's because you have to add the subdraft under that because it's reliant on it. So let me show you. I'm going to click on draft and add a subdraft. So let's just say you're going to do your intro. And it's because it's a subtask. You can click on the dates. Now we can add the 17th. Now we can add the 28th. Double tap on the calendar here. So next calendar year. Let's do the 27th. And you can see now how it's changed. If I scroll along. It's now added it and the draft will be dependent on how long that takes so if i hold the left button on your intro and drag it you can see how the draft then changes so if i drag it some more hold the left button along and all the others actually drag with it because it's all part of that task in my view hope that helps thanks for watching